Unlike many ferns, walking ferns have evergreen, undivided blades and often form thick clonal colonies in shady, sheltered limestone ravines and glens. The variable-sized, lance-like leaves often taper to a very long, narrow point, odd enough to get a second look, but also strange in habit, as they propagate not only by spores, but by walking. Take a look. The older, longer leaves arch away from their group. Touching soil, the leaf tip roots and a new clone forms. This vegetative walking works well where surrounding conditions are just right. Here's another example from that same busy group. Notice how blade shapes and lengths vary greatly. In time, this fern too will likely begin to walk. Note also the fiddleheads at the tip of the growing blades. Spleenworts are named for their spleen-shaped spore groups, here irregularly scattered on the back of the blade. Ferns are a diverse group, full of surprises in form and function, honed over deep time to be right for a place and a set of conditions, like these other limestone-loving ferns in this shady glen. When you get a chance to visit such a place, enjoy the scenery, but look around carefully and take your time. You, a newcomer, may not be the only walker there. <laughs>